Hey, good morning. Uh, First Chronicles chapter 4, verses 9 and 10 reads, There was a man named Jabez who was more honorable than any of his brothers. His mother named him Jabez because his birth had been so painful. Jabez sounds like the word for pain. He was the one who prayed to the God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and expand my territory. Please be with me in all that I do and keep me from all trouble and pain. And God granted him his request. Now, we aren't really told why Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. We're just told that he is. It could be related to the model prayer that's included in verse 10, but we cannot be certain. In fact, we don't really know anything more about Jabez than what we are told right here. He's not mentioned anywhere else in Scripture. There is a town that is mentioned or a region mentioned in 1 Chronicles chapter 2, but Jabez the person is only mentioned right here in 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verses 9 and 10. Yet he is singled out by God, so there's an important message highlighted here. The prayer given by Jabez has been the focus of a famous book by Bruce Wilkerson, but it's the simplicity of the prayer that really should draw our attention. Jabez is described as being more righteous than his brothers, but his prayer is not flowery or pretentious. It is a simple, straightforward petition that could easily serve as a guide for us. Specifically, there are four things that Jabez requests of God. First, he says, bless me. Jabez recognized that the greatest treasure in life comes not from what the world has to offer, but from God. So he asked God, bless me. And he said, expand my territory. Now, some have taken this to mean that Jabez was asking for monetary prosperity. Expand my territory. But expanding my territory could also refer to God entrusting us with more of his will and plan. God, give me more of what you're doing. I want to be involved more. Expand my responsibility, my territory. He also prayed, be with me in all that I do. And Jabez desired God's presence over all else. The accomplishments of life would have little meaning without the Lord's involvement. Be with me in all that I do. And then finally, he said, keep me from all trouble and pain. Keep me from all trouble and pain. And we're told that God granted his request, but let me be at this word of caution. There is no guarantee here. Just because we pray, keep me from all trouble and pain, does not mean that the Lord will answer that. The Lord does not promise to keep us from all trouble and pain. In fact, there are passages that indicate (coughs) that believers will face more trouble because of their faith. However, it is never wrong to ask, keep me from all trouble and pain. God, in his goodness and his love, will determine the time and place of our deliverance. Pray with me. Lord, I ask that you would bless us. I ask that you would expand our territory. you would be with us in all we do. And that you would keep us from all trouble and pain. Lord, we leave to you the way and means in which you will respond to our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends. Hope you have a great day. God bless you. See you tomorrow.